Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff back again for yet another, our third installment of the records that I bought from Frontiers Records on their great sale where everything vinyl was marked, not everything, they had a bunch of vinyl marked down, $9.99, $14.99. And so I picked up quite a few things and that's what we're looking at here. And so I have another two today. Um, if you're familiar with Frontier Records out of Italy, they do a lot of great stuff, but almost everything on their label is going to fit into the very melodic um, hard rock, metal, things like that. Striper's on there. Uh, Night Ranger we saw, you know, in a previous video, they're on there. So everything they tend to put out is is more or less in my wheelhouse. Uh, they do do a lot of AOR stuff, which we are seeing in some of these. Uh, so they do the lighter hard rock and then hard rock and metal. So anyway, this time around uh, on this batch, Eagle Flight by Revolution Saints. I um, Revolution Saints have like five albums out. I have their second, and now this is like their latest. I think. I think. Again, most of these that are on, on sale were in the two, 2022 to 2023 releases. Uh, this is again sort of kind of a super groupish type thing. It's all centered around Dean Castronova. Great drummer, singer, played with Journey, sang some with Journey, has done lots of bands. I learned about Dean back in the 80s when he was the drummer on a lot of the Shredder type instrumental albums, uh, you know, that came out back in the day. Joey Tefola and people like that that did instrumental albums for Shrapnel Records. He was one of the drummers that was pretty much a mainstay on a lot of those, it seemed like. So I learned about him then and fell in love with his playing. And he's been a great drummer and he's done a lot of stuff. And then, like I say, he spent quite a few years in Journey. Uh, and then Revolution Saints is kind of like the newest thing that they put him out there with. And when the band first came out, the first few albums, including the one that I've got, which is their second, they have Jack Blades of Night Ranger on bass, and he sings too. Dean is on drums and sings, mostly him singing. And then they had Doug Aldridge, who has been in lots of bands, uh, White Snake. Lots of bands. Doug Aldrich, everybody knows him. Anyway, so those first few albums had that lineup. But then recently, including this album, Jeff Pilson is now on bass uh, from Dokken, and he's done a lot of other things. What was, is he, was he in Foreigner most recently? Or he's one of those bands. He's, he's been the bass player for one of those uh, classic bands that continues to tour. I think it was Foreigner or one of those. Um, and then on guitar, we have Joe Holkstra. So, and he's done some work in night ranger and he's done a lot of stuff he played with some michael sweet stuff anyway great stuff uh so that that's who we got this time around is joel and jeff pilson along with dean i did notice a couple of these have dings i wonder if maybe those were why they sold some of these i didn't notice if they all did that may have just been things but anyway gatefold single album i believe this one most of these were on black yeah so yeah uh now i you know i I, I don't have all their albums, but like I said, I do have one of the earlier ones. So it's not, you know, I kind of like the band, but I haven't been out chasing after all of their albums, but I'm glad to have two. All right, and then the second band looking at today is Spirits of Fire. Now, um, Embrace the Unknown. Spirits of Fire is another super-ish type group. Uh, kind of built around Kiss, uh, Chris Caffery, uh, who was in Sabotage, uh, trans Siberian Orchestra, things like that. Uh, and it's got him, and it's got Mark Zonder on drums, who got to start in like Warlord. He went on to do Fate's Warning. He's done a lot of other projects. He's back in Warlord doing stuff there. And then it's got, uh, in my opinion, slight unknowns. Um, what's his name? Steve D. Gio Rio. <laughs> Gio Rio. Uh, and he uh, has been in Iced Earth. He's done some stuff with Death. Uh, lots and lots of bands. Bass player. Lots and lots of bands I've never heard of. He's got just a large amount of names up there and then uh fabio tordelegilion on guitar who was in labyrinth and rhapsody rhapsody fire angra and a bunch of other bands who long list these guys play in lots and lots of bands so they did the uh spirits of fire now this album has a new singer uh, also named Fabio, and I looked back and I didn't find where he had, I couldn't find anything, a uh, great history on him. Um, this album is on, what is that, orangish red, and this one is a double record set. These guys are definitely metal, not, 
not in the AOR vein that we find a lot of the Frontier Records stuff going with. Um, this was on my list for sure to grab because I did have their first album from a couple years ago. Now, the singer difference is it's the same band on this album, but on this album they have Tim, R Tim Ripper Owens. So, um, you know, it's going to have that sort of a priesty influence. But uh, same band, and I picked this album up a couple years ago. So when the new album came out, I had it on my list to eventually get. So I was glad to get that to go along with the second one. So there you go. Spirits of Fire, definitely a metal band compared to some of the other releases out there. If you're not familiar with these guys, check them out. Uh, I loved Chris's work uh, in Sabotage. I'd like Mark Zonder and all the work he's done with. So it was really good to see them pair up to do this project a couple years ago and see them back now with the second album. So cool stuff. Check it out. I'm thinking by now the sale is probably over, but you can check out the Frontier site and see if maybe they still have some of this stuff closing out. That's it for this one. Though. Thanks for watching. Rock on and rock hard.